Today we're going to talk about raccoons. Raccoons are very common across Nebraska and they can cause a lot of damage. Now raccoons, most people don't realize, actually are a South American animal that actually moved its range up through North America all the way up into Canada and is doing quite well, but they start it in the warm South America. Now raccoons are prolific, they're smart, and they can really cause a lot of damage. The biggest amount of damage they cause is in attics and in chimneys. They will pull sovets down to get up into an attic to have their young, and they're doing that in February. They actually have their young by the end of February. The young are with the mother. The mother goes, gets there every night after being around looking for food or things like that, and she sleeps during the day, and she feeds them. And they'll actually stay in that nest area for a couple months, and then they stay with her for almost nine to nine to ten months before she's ready to have her next litter. Now, the one thing about them, you cannot, in the city limits or anywhere in the state, you cannot use any kind of toxicant or poison for raccoons. And we do not know of any repellent, smell or things like that, that are effective on raccoons. We tested literally dozens of them, and other universities have tested them. And there's no repellent that you can put. So what we have is two things to help us with raccoons. Live capture and exclusion. Those are your two methods. Now, the first thing to realize is that if you capture a raccoon, you can't just move it someplace. You're going to have to have a wildlife control come get it, a humane society come get it, or you always can call anywhere in the state, you can call wildlife rehab and you can you'll be given that number. Now, once you call them, they'll come and get the animal from you. These animals do carry a, a large amount of load of what we call zoonotics. These are diseases that can transfer from the raccoon to people. Things like roundworm, distemper, histoplasmosis, and rabies. We, so you want to make sure you, if you're, they're in your attic or your house, you want to get them out of there because you don't know when those diseases can be airborne for some of those. And if the raccoon accidentally or a young raccoon accidentally bites a child or something, that is very, very desperate. And so we don't want any of that to happen. So I'm going to show you how, first how to trap them. The best thing to use is a proper size cage trap. And put, you can put this on the ground, even though they're climbing your roof, okay? And they will go in there and they will get trapped. They trap fairly easily. I would recommend, especially in the winter, maybe putting a piece of burlap or black cloth over this and anchoring it down with some tent stakes. Put some tent stakes to anchor it down. And then you're just going to um, and have your bait here. One thing you have to remember, do not put the bait in the bottom for almost anything. What you want to do is hang the bait in the middle, right here. Especially if you have burlap over it. The animal will see the bait and go in and grab it. So whenever you're using this, these cage traps, you want to hang the bait in the middle on something. And what is the best bait for raccoons? Marshmallows. Okay, they love marshmallows. Yeah, they'll eat tuna fish. Yes, they'll eat chicken, but so will the, the neighborhood cats. But if you use marshmallows, you won't get the neighborhood cats, you'll get the raccoons. Cheap, easy, you stab the marshmallows on there, and then they will go for them. Another thing you can use to keep them away from landscaping is this device. You can put a little marshmallow in the center. You, this takes two C batteries. You stick it in the ground. The raccoon goes to sniff the sugar and this will shock its nose. It won't cause any permanent harm to the raccoon, but the raccoon will then jump back and, and consider this area to be something that's harmful. Fairly easy, and if a child accidentally grabbed it, it would shock the child like electric fence. It's nothing that's permanently damaging. So the best way to go is trapping more than anything else. And remember, raccoons, the bait is marshmallows.